Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Karen and I've been doing the keto diet for a little over five months now. So Sunday is Super Bowl, so I figured I should make some wings and some, you know, finger foods. Uh, we have no plans right now, but just in case something comes up, I'll have something to bring, or if we have people over, I'll have some keto-friendly finger foods to pick on. Um, so I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and bought one of these. I've never used one of these before, but a couple of my friends have them and they love them. Uh, supposedly there's no smoke when you cook with it, because if I did chicken wings in my oven and I had to broil them at the end, my house would be full of smoke. Like, I don't even have batteries in my smoke detector right now, I know it's so bad, but I always take them out because every time I cook, the smoke detectors go off. Um, so I bought this thing, it was 150 I had a 20% off coupon, I think I got it for 120 and we're gonna open it up and give it a try. All right, so anybody who watches my videos knows that I am not a cook. I have never made chicken wings in my life. I've never bought uncooked chicken wings in my life. So I was just cleaning the chicken because I know you're supposed to clean chicken. I think you're supposed to clean chicken. And I thought it said chicken wings on the package, but this looks like it definitely has to be cut. So I think I'm gonna have to do some research on how to cut this. It looks like I just have to cut it like into the drumstick part and the wing part. I don't know. But I gotta look this up because I have no clue. This might have been a bad idea. Um, I watched a YouTube video on how to prepare wings and it was really gross. I've never cut wings before and there was like blood involved. I, I really, I can't believe I'm doing this. All right, I couldn't even cut the whole package. I'm only doing half because I just, I don't know, I like chicken after it's cooked. I'm not used to preparing this stuff. So that was kind of gross, but I think I cut it in the right spot. All right, let me show you the rest of the ingredients. So for the hot sauce, I'm gonna do some without hot, I'm gonna cook them without the sauce. I'm gonna put the sauce on after. So for the hot sauce, we're just gonna use Frank's Red Hot, some butter. That's really it. The hot sauce, that's all you really need is butter and Frank's Red Hot, that's it. Um, for the wings, they're drying right now. I'm just patting them dry. I'm gonna put some baking powder on them and some sea salt. And I think that's it. I mean, I could throw some garlic powder, some onion powder, but I don't think it really needs it if we're gonna make hot wings. Okay, so I'm just gonna sprinkle some baking powder and some salt on these things. I patted them all dry. Still a little grossed out. and then I'm gonna flip them to the other side. Now we're gonna open up this box here. So I ended up adding some garlic powder and some onion powder to the chicken. Just because I'm gonna give my kids some without the hot sauce, so I want some flavor. All right, so this is the chicken. It's all ready to be put in. I opened up this big bad boy here. Uh, the only thing I'm not crazy about with this is, I know a lot of them have like a bucket, so instead of like flipping the wings individually, you can kind of just like flip them in the bucket. So this one I'm gonna have to actually stop it halfway through and flip the wings, which kind of stinks, but. All right, so we have some racks here. I'm just gonna spray the racks. I wiped everything down with like just warm soapy water because it's the first time using it. So I thought that was a good idea. I really didn't read the instructions. So we're just gonna lay the wings nicely on the rack. This is what I was talking about, the blood. I guess I cut the bone in the wrong spot. Ugh. Gross. I'm really weird with chicken. Like if I get one tough piece, we order out, and I get one tough piece, that's it. I won't eat the rest of the, the chicken. And it grosses me out. So seeing it like this is not easy for me. Spray 
There's actually like a chicken button. Turn it on. There's a little picture of a chicken. So hit that. So it's 370. Now it's saying 40 minutes. That's a little too long for chicken wings. It's probably like for a rotisserie chicken. This thing comes with a spinning rotisserie and everything. So I'm going to lower it down to 30. And we'll check it halfway through. Oh, one other thing. I, a while back, I had done a review on Wink ice cream. It was a keto-friendly ice cream. So I went shopping the other day, and I went to like a local health food store. It's called Wild by Nature, and I saw this. It's called Enlightened. You can see it. So it actually tasted so much better than the Wink. The Wink was very watery. So I really like this one better. This is the mint chocolate chip flavor, and this is only like $2.99, where the Wink was like $8 for the same size. This has a lot more net carbs. So I ate the whole thing, which I probably shouldn't have. The serving size is a quarter, so there's four per container. So it ends up being 20 net carbs, but you know, I'm at the point right now that I can do that, so it's not a big deal for me, but it tasted so much better than the Wink one. So if you can afford a little more carbs in your day, definitely go for, for this. There were different flavors too. I got the birthday cake flavor as well, and my daughter, daughter was eating it last night and she liked it, so if she liked it, it has to be good. So I don't have to set Alexa right now, but I'm gonna say Alexa anyway, just to annoy you guys. I know, I suck. So like I said, the hot sauce part of it is really simple. I just put some butter in there. I'm not gonna make a lot of it, it's not a lot of wings because I didn't want to cut up all those wings, they were so gross. Just some Frank's Red Hot and some butter. That's all you need, just put this on the stove, don't let it boil, just simmer it. And we'll dip when the wings are ready. All right, so it's been 15 minutes, I'm just gonna flip these things. I don't know if you really need to flip in this thing. some little beef franks. And some bacon. And some toothpicks. And I'm just gonna roll up the bacon around the franks. Stick the toothpicks in so it stays. And I'm gonna put them in the air fryer when the chicken's done. That's the plan. Hold this up and show you. So it's a piece of bacon, cut it in half. Got a little frank footer, just rolling them up. So it's like a mock cake in a blanket, but it's a cake and bacon. These Q-tips are ridiculously long, that's all I got. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a couple. Just maybe I can fit two or three on there. So this is gonna be really, really quick, easy appetizer for a Super Bowl Sunday. And hopefully really yummy. Looks like we're fitting two. I wouldn't go for three. Uh, yeah, let's push it. Let's see what happens. Let's go for it. Just cut the bacon in half. Take a little frankfurter and roll them up. 
bacon. That's it, you can fit three of my size Q-tips. And really, seriously, who takes one taking a blanket at a party? You always need more than one, so this be perfect. So I'm gonna do a bunch of those, and then when this is done, almost done, I'm gonna put those in and see how that comes out. Never used an air fryer before, this is fun. Uh, supposedly they say it could replace your microwave and your toaster oven. So maybe I'll have a new home for that over there. I'm not getting rid of my microwave, obviously, but the toaster oven, if I could switch for that, we'll see. Because I have no counter space. I'm done. I don't know where to keep this thing. I have a big, uh, I have two crock pots, like under a storage bench downstairs. I have a pressure cooker under the house in my crawl space. I just have no cabin space, no room for all this stuff. A bigger house. So the chicken is done. Let's see what it looks like. That's what it's looking like. We're gonna give this a taste. Oh, it's very crispy. I can feel it. We got the hot sauce and the butter. Melt it up. Uh, I'm gonna get a little blue cheese because it's gonna be too hot for me. So I just picked up uh, Follow Your Heart is the brand. I just saw it in the organic section. Just blue cheese, it has one gram of carbs in two tablespoons. Kind of still a little grossed out about the chicken. Wish I didn't see all that. Yeah, I'm totally not eating this for you guys. I'm just dipping. Ooh, this is really hot. All right, I'm gonna give that a second to cool off. Get the rest of these out. So I was gonna make a separate video about the uh, pigs in the blanket and the bacon, but I'm just gonna combine it together because it's not gonna be long enough. It was too quick. So these are what they look like. I'm gonna put them in while this is already dirty. Might as well utilize it. I only have to clean it once. I don't know how long to cook this on. Cook this for. Let me check. Let's see if it has a button for pork. What would it be? A picture of a pig? I don't see a picture of a pig. Well, maybe pork chops. That could be it. Maybe. That could be ribeye. I don't know. Okay. So this is saying 370 for 25 minutes. Let's go for it. All right, we're gonna taste this. I have some blue cheese, some hot sauce on there. I'm give it a taste. Try not to get any bloody parts. Mm. That's good if I don't think about what it looked like before I cooked it. That's really good. This is definitely a good Super Bowl Sunday little appetizer and then I'm gonna check back when those are done. I think I'm gonna like those better. I'm more of a hot dog bacon kind of girl than a chicken kind of girl. So I'm still sitting here eating the wings. I guess I'm not that grossed out anymore. They're really good. They're really crispy. The skin, mm. Good. I'm gonna try not to eat them all so I can share them with my family. So we still have 10 minutes left but they're starting to smell like they might be done. So I'm just gonna, cause it was already hot, maybe, when we started it, I don't know. So I'm gonna take a look, Let's see. There's a lot of bacon grease. It's all in the drip tray, so it shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, they definitely look like they're done. Ah, uh, my mitt just went in the bacon grease. Okay, I think that was a little too long. I mean, I like my bacon crispy, like very well done, so it's fine for me, but if you're making this at home, you might, well, so we have 10 minutes left. We had started with what, 25 minutes? So it's only 15. You might only want to do 10 minutes. I mean, this is perfect. This is the way I like them, but I don't think everybody will like them so crispy. But this looks good to me. So this was 15 minutes at 370. And so I'm liking this thing. I mean, these could go right in the dishwasher. I already put two in there. And I'm thinking 
the drip tray can go into the dishwasher too, but obviously we gotta get rid of some of that oil. So I'm gonna let these cool off and then I will give them a taste. They look really good. Uh, if you like mustard or I'm sure they make, I don't like ketchup, but I'm sure they make um, low sugar ketchup. You could always dip these things in that. And I'm just gonna eat a plain. Mm. That makes me happy. That's good. There's absolutely no reason to go off keto for Super Bowl. Like you could have snacks like this. You could have light beer. No reason. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I was going to do two. I'm going to combine it into one. Hopefully it's not too long. And I hope everybody has a great Super Bowl Sunday. Maybe I'll try to make a little video on Super Bowl. All right, guys. Have a great day.